Hi, I'm Chris Matthew, the Director of Business Development for Voxeo Labs, the makers of Tropo. Hey, do you guys have a Google Voice number? Sure you do. Um, have you ever thought about uh, wanting to use that Google Voice number for another type of application, such as your Tropo application? Sure you have. Well, you can definitely port your number to Tropo by just clicking on the Get Help button uh, on in the um, the Tropo uh, portal. So, like, you can just click here on Get Help and uh, request that your number be ported. That's pretty easy to do. Um, but I'm going to show you a temporary solution that allows you to play with your Google Voice number immediately uh, on your Tropo application. So. Go to let, let's uh, let's create a Tropo application. The easiest way to do that is just click create an application. Click uh, Tropo scripting. Uh, we'll call it we'll call it Google Voice for lack of uh, creativity. And uh, we'll tell it to create a hosted file. We're going to call this uh, again <laughs> Google Voice for lack of creativity. I'm going to call it .rb because I'm, I'm a Rubyist. Uh, so we'll say, say, hello, Tropo. That's it. I mean, that basically, we just created a uh, an app that when you call it, it's going to use text-to-speech and say, um, hello, Tropo. Um, it also automatically gives you a Skype uh, dial in number, a SIP dial in number for your any soft phone, uh, an INIM number, and a phono number that you could direct your phono web phone you know, right into this application. It takes about a minute or two to propagate because um, Foxeo does not use databases uh, for handling numbers. They're all DNS, so it propagates throughout our, our data centers uh, globally uh, when you provision an app. So, um, Actually, while that's ha let, let's give it a phone number. I'm going to give it a uh, Phoenix number since that's where I'm located. Scroll down through this massive list of numbers here. Let's see. You can also use our REST API to provision a number if you wanted to do it automatically, but I'm a little lazy, so I'm just going to select it there. Again, that takes a minute or two to propagate, but that's the number. So let me let me just copy that number while I'm while I'm working on this. Um, Let's go to my Google Voice. So um, that's my mobile number here. So I'm going to click on my number. And it brings me to uh, a page of all of my destination numbers. Um, so I used to use Gizmo uh, which to direct it via SIP into Tropo apps, which uh, was real handy until Google uh, kind of shut down Gizmo here recently. So I'm going to add a new phone number. I'm going to add my Tropo number. Oops, I'm going to add my Tropo number to the number field. I'm going to call this Tropo. I'm going to tell it it's my work number, since I don't have that one uh, set yet. Um, and while, before I do that though, let me test this app, make sure it works. I'll call it with Skype. Hello, Tropo. Okay, so it works. So it's all provisioned. So I tell you what, now that it's provisioned, what you have to do with Google, the very first time you authorize a new number, remember you have to go through the little authorization dance? So I need to have the number, I need to have Tropo route the number elsewhere. Um, I could route it to my, my mobile phone, which is pretty convenient. Um, I could route it to uh, my SIP phone, which is you know also really convenient. So, um, tell you, we're just going to be really geeky and I'm going to route it to my SIP phone. So let me edit this. Instead of saying, hello, Tropo, I'm going to do a uh, transfer and I'm going to give it my soft phone. So I'm going to say SIP, Chris, Matthew, I use Blink. I love Blink. So, um, so there's my, my uh, address right there. Chris Matthew at sip to sip dot info on blank. So Chris Matthew at sip to sip dot info. So that is 
all I need to do to transfer a call in Tropo to a, uh, a, a SIP phone. So I hit update, that's happy. So now I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to say uh, save that number. So now what Google's going to do is it's going to uh, call my Tropo app. My Tropo app is going to transfer the call to my uh, Blink soft phone and ask me to enter that number. So that's the one-time authorization. So let's let's uh, connect the dots and watch the magic. So I'm going to connect. 53 is my access code. There's Giz uh, Blink firing up. I'm going to accept the call. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Please enter the two-digit activation code you were given online. Your new number has been verified. So now Google's happy. I have a number that's linked to Tropo. Tropo transferred the call to my Blink uh, SIP phone. And uh, you notice Blink doesn't have a dial pad. I just freaking love that. You just type the numbers and, and it assumes that, that you're, you're doing touchdown. Um, so we're, we're completely wired. So now I could actually, um, oh, on Google, I do need to tell it no more. Don't call my mobile. Transfer all calls to Tropo. Um, so now, <laughs> this is pretty, this is cool. So watch, I'm gonna call my um, my Google Voice number, and it will ring my uh, my SIP phone through Tropo. So let's see, six two three two five two three four two five. Oh, it's because it's my cell phone that it's linked to. Um, tell you what, let me let me have Skype. Let me have Skype call. Six two three two five two three four two five. Hello, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to reach. Chris Matthew. Chris Matthew. So now my, my blink is ringing. Press one. Press one. Uh, so I, actually, I could have called it with my phone. I, I, I missed hearing the prompt. It was asking me to say my name. So <laughs> there's so many ways using Tropo to uh, handle a call application. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, one of the things I really, really like, uh, one of the apps that I really like that's built on Tropo is called Open Voice. Um, if you go to openvoice.heroku.com, uh, it's basically a Zhao's project, uh, open source project. You can get all the code on github.com slash open voice. And it's basically a Google Voice uh, clone um, that runs on Tropo. So watch this. I'm going to take my phone number that open voice gave me. I'm going to drop that into my Google app to transfer the call to... Open voice. So now what I've basically done is I've created um, an I've, I've linked my Google Voice number to Tropo. Tropo transfers to my Open Voice number, and now I've repurposed my Google Voice number running on Open Voice. So uh, watch this. So I'm in, I'm in Open Voice. You know I can do things like make you know place phone calls, send text messages, manage my inbound outbound calls, check my voicemails. Look at my contacts, add new devices, etc. So um, I could place a call, but watch this. I'm going to call. Tell you what. I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to call my my uh, Google Voice number again from my cell phones. And it will route to my Open Voice account.
It does want me to enter my PIN, so that's my voicemail. Okay. So let's do it with Skype. Let's do this call again. So I'm going to call my Google Voice number and it will ring my open voice. Watch this. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to reach. Chris Matthew. Chris Matthew. Chris Matthew. So the call's coming in open voice. So I could answer it. Incoming call. Matthew, please leave your name and number In and I'll call you back. Incoming call from. So hang on. So I'm going to hang up. If we make this a little bit better, we'll go to um, Google Voice and we'll say, uh, let's see. The calls tab. We'll tell it call screenings off. And we'll say, actually, I think that's all we need to say to turn off the uh, Google Voice call screen. So I'm going to do Save Changes. And now this should work even better. So now if we go back to Skype, Redial, it won't uh, prompt me. Hello, welcome to Chris Matthews Open Voice Communication Center. Please wait while we connect your call. I can answer it with phone. I can answer it on my cell phone. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? Tropo rocks. Tropo rocks. So imagine the, the opportunities that you can do, you know, just by temporarily routing your Google Voice number. You build your app. You're happy. Go ahead and port your number when you're done. And uh, it's pretty powerful, pretty amazing. And uh, check it out, tropo.com.